Hi everyone. I love my fairy dust. I call it fairy dust. My fairy dust glitter. I just love it. So we have yellow here, first pile. We have green. Pile two. Pile three. Purple. Pile four, pink. Pile six, um, what's this? Torquas. So, please choose your pile and I will tell you who your soulmate is and then we have a message from your soulmate, okay? So, choose your pile. One, two, three, four, and five, pile five, okay? See you at the piles, guys. So, hi, guys. This is pile one, the yellow. Oops. Yellow fairy dust. So, who is your person? Who is your soulmate? And then we channel the message from him or her. We have the stag spirit. So, your person is a leader. It says, stag spirit, take the lead. Look at this beautiful card, guys. It's so beautiful. So, your person is a leader personality. Someone who goes different path. Because the stack is always for me a card for a person that go that is different and that goes different ways, like a leader personality um, that also unites a pack, you know, because the stack because of the stack, also very kind personality, very loving, very gentle, you know, the stack is for me a very gentle animal. We also see the feathers here, so this could be an air sign. We will look at the. Um, the signs later what they could be i also do some charms for you guys you know and um yeah what i see they are very wise and they've been through a lot in life that's why they're so wise you know um eight plus five the 58 is here maybe this numbers means something to you or also the number um 13 because eight plus five equals 13 so maybe 13 means something to you. They are a leader spirit. They know how to lead people and they're very pure. They lead with a pure heart because this deck is white and pink. So they're very romantic. And I see Asia here. You know, of course, we're all here. You know, we're all um, somehow bound to Asia <laughs> because of our boys, you know. But um, I really see Asia here, especially Japan. I see they love to wear rings and um, they're spiritual because I see the feathers here. So they talk with spirit. They're very, very wise. Like they, they lead by example, but also this, they really could um, involve when they make a decision, they can involve spirit. That's very cool, right? So let's see there. Like what is the tarot card that defines them the most? universe please give me oh wow <laughs> I haven't expect expected this the king of pentacles look at this that's a leader that's an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn you know but the king of pentacles is well that's a leader personality that could be a CIO of a company you know someone who is very wise someone who leads people um, they are very abundant. They have no problem with money. Someone who worked their ass off to be where they are right now. They rule over their kingdom. You know, they rule over their kingdom. It's like, and they feel like the universe has given them the, this opportunity. So um, they really feel that all of their, all what they have um, came as chance from the universe into their life. And they worked from the bottom. So they were not born into this privilege. No, they worked their way up. They are very hard worker and very perseverant. That's what, that's what I see. And um, they speak up if people annoy them because look at his face. <laughs> this person speaks up. You know, very, but very gentle. 
I see they love wine because it's like like um grapes all over his yeah they love red and wine red and wine <laughs> okay so let's get their message for you universe what is the message from this person from the soulmate They are very, very spiritual. They are very, they're very into their, into spirituality and being in their feelings. So they, they lead very loving, in a lo very loving way. Can you give me the message? Oh, this looks really sweet. Can I have t three tarot cards for the message? What is this message of this person? What is the message of this person? What is the message of this person, the stag spirit? So you guys see, I, I want to, sometimes I want to draw in front of the camera so you can see, you know, how I choose the things I'm choosing. So, and then later we look at charms and what are their signs, okay? So, let's see. Well, they say meditate and contemplate. So, their message is to you that um, they're thinking, you know, they see that you guys belong together because I see that here with a fish, you know, they could be a Pisces um, or they could have Pisces somewhere in their chart or you could be Pisces, you know. But it's saying, well, if it's not an earth sign, because I see the stag spirit also as earth related and earth personality, but they have somewhere water in their chart. And what they're saying is they think about this connection, you know, they think about this connection. That's why um, I see here the fishes. They think about this connection. They contemplate. <clears throat> Yeah, but this connection is on hold, oh, but they know. That's a soulmate card, you know, that's always in tarot, or not always, but oftentimes this card is re referred to 1111, the twin flame card. So you guys could be twin flames, you guys could, uh, of course you guys are soulmate. I mean, that's the, what the reading is about. But this is like a marriage. Do you see the here? So <clears throat> this person is saying, well, now... They are contemplating, they're resting, and they're transforming. Look, they let, oh my gosh, I haven't seen that. They look, they let the butterflies in. You see that here? The butterflies are coming. So this person is saying, basically, right now I'm contemplating, I'm meditating. I'm in this meditative state. I'm in transformation, you know. Um, you didn't hear from me because I'm meditating. I'm thinking about this whole connection. I know we belong together. I see us married because there is a marriage here. Um, <clears throat> but I have to do some other things the universe is giving me, handing me, um, before I can work on our relationship. That's what they're saying. You know? The universe is handing me different tasks that I have to do. I have to drink. I have to work on them. Those tasks involve leading people, leading people with emotions and over emotions. And that's why this person is saying, well, they cannot have this um, marriage yet because they have to work on being a leader. They have to work on transforming people and they have to work on all these other tasks the universe is giving them. Okay, that's so sweet. So what is this? Oh, my gosh. That's a twin flame relationship. Yeah, sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. They know that. That's because that's their message. They know that that's the twin flame card. And with the sacred union here, wow. I haven't expected this. That's beautiful. So what else message is this guy telling you? Oh my gosh, that's much. <laughs> it's a wonderful life. That's a quote. Okay, I will read it. So for everyone who wants to pause and read it by themselves, guys, 
here it is, but I want to read it for you, okay? George is saying, so we have George, I don't know what that's called, George is saying, hey, that's a pretty good idea, I'll give you the moon, Mary. Mary, I take it then, then what, George? Well, then you could swallow it and it would all dissolve sea. And the moonbeams shoot out of your fingers and your toes and the ends of your hair. Am I talking too much? What's this? That's like a riddle. So he's saying, hey, that's a pretty good idea. I'll give you the moon. Wow, look at this, the moon. This person is, um, I also see that here, that person is very connected to the moon. They love the moon. Mary, I take it, then what? Well, then you could swallow it and it would all dissolve. See? And the moonbeams would shoot out of your fingers and your toes and the end of your hair. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> He's like saying his girl is his moon. You are his moon. <laughs> I don't get this quote. I haven't seen this movie. Is this a movie? It's a wonderful life or is this... Uh, what is this? Please educate me. What is this? Am I stupid right now? Because I know a lot of films. I have no idea what this is. So please educate me and the meaning of it because this interests me very much. Okay, guys. So let's see. What are the possible... And we do it three times, okay? What are the possible zodiac signs of this person? We have uh, Libra, we have Cancer, or you could be those signs, you know, Libra. Wow, there's a lot of Libra here. Yeah, Libra. Okay, let's do some charms. Let's do some charms for this person, Universe the Stag Spirit. Okay, we have, let me see, can you see this? Can you see this? We have smile, so this person has a beautiful smile, or you have. We have, do you see it more like this way? <laughs> this is not working the way I want it to work. There you go. Okay, so we have smile here. We have the beauty. So this is a very beautiful person, your soulmate. We have an H. We have the divine timing is at work. We have the swan. Yeah, look at this. That's the swan. What else? Oh, we have a Y. Oh, we have Paris. Oh my gosh. And we have the turtle. That That's an earth sign. But that person is like really slow. Yeah, that's so cool. Wow. Okay, you must tell me what this quote is about. Because I want to know. I want to know. Okay, guys. So, that's all what I have for this pile. Bye, guys. I love these glitter packages. They look so cute. So, who is your soulmate? And what is the message of your soulmate? Your soulmate is Koala. <laughs> Maybe your soulmate is Juni. Yay. <laughs> okay, spirit has a plan. So a koala is very clingy. So this person loves to clinch on people, you know. <laughs> they love to hug. Um, they're very cozy and very... Um, like they... They rest in themselves you know what i mean they're very um a person that can quiet others you know what i mean they can calm others not quiet a person that can calm other people when um, you are around this person you feel very calm this person is very yeah they love cozy evenings you know they love to sit on the floor and talk I have the feeling they're very much like a relaxed personality, you know? That's what we see when we see a koala, you know? Very cute, like to hug all the time. I see the color blue here, so they are a lot in their mind. 
This person thinks a lot. They contemplate a lot. Your soulmate. And they're very spiritual. So they believe in destiny. That's good. <laughs> it's good to know. Um, universe, give me one major characteristic of this person. Wow. They're looked up by many people. Look at this. It's like they're very successful. Like people crown them. You see them? They are a leader personality. Pile 1 was a leader personality. This is also a leader personality. But a leader that leads um, peacefully. With a peaceful. They are very peaceful. They don't go to war. They try to um, talk it out. You know. Before they go to war. <laughs> that person is. Um, yeah. They do plans. You know. Very strategic person. Like a swords person, a king of swords personality, um, like a lawyer, you know, someone who's uh, very strong with their mind. Very strong with their mind. So what do they want to tell you? Let's see, universe, what is their message? What is their message? Yeah, conclusions are within reach. See, they try to find solutions for people. Full moon eclipse. Look at this. And they are within reach. They tell you, I'm, I'm in reach. So let's see what this is all about. <clears throat> Universe, what is this conclusions are within reach all about? Show me three cards. What is the message? Universe, give us a message from the soulmate. Okay, so this wanted to fly out, so I take it. <clears throat> Whoa. What is the message from the koala spirit? Show me. Message from this koala spirited person. There are a lot of quotes. <laughs> so. So let's see what this person is saying. We have the full. Like a new start. See that's like they. I am within reach. I'm coming. What's this? Wow. Someone else doesn't want your um, your connection because look at this. There is someone black putting this woman into a state of down. Okay. And the hermit mode. Yes. Look at this. They're counting stars. They're healing right now. Okay. So... They want a new start. They chase a new start. You know, this person, like the koala spirit, really wants to come forward. They really want conclusions are within reach. You know, they really want to come forward. Your soulmate really want to come towards you and start a new beginning with you. You know, they want to throw themselves into this connection. And um, they're probably right now contemplating about this. Um, it says conclusions are within reach. So yes, I want to come forward. They're saying, I want to start over with you. But right now, um, some ending. There was some ending of this of some sorts in this person's life, and that's why they cannot move. They have to, uh, yeah. I also see here um, water energy. It looks like they are restricted from going to this village there. Yeah, there was some ending in this person's life where they feel restricted and that's why they have to heal first. So this person could be a Virgo, but we will look what zodiac signs are possible. I really feel here though that this person needs to find their own star, their own healing right now. That's why they pick stars, you know, they, were, they need to find because there was an ending of some sort and they started all over. But for me, it feels rushed. It feels rushed. And that's um, 
they really want to come forward but something happened like i said someone doesn't want your connection maybe something came in between some ending that put this koala spirit into um your soulmate into a position where they cannot move it's like they're saying i want to come forward i really want to i want to meet you i want to start all over with you but i can't because there was something happening in my life and now i'm stuck and i have to heal first i have this black death situation that happened in their life they have to heal that first there was some kind of ending maybe an ending of another relationship and conclusions are within reach so they try to find the answer this is also swords energy and i told you this person is very much in their thought process so they're trying to heal right now in order to come forward to you so what's saying when it comes to matters of the heart there is no right or wrong Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Yeah, they're contemplating what is right, what is wrong, what I, can I do now. Um, I have to heal myself first, but what should I do next, you know? But they eventually will, will find the solution to this. Whatever this is, they're trying to um, contemplate on that. So what is, else is this person saying? It was a great kiss. If one of us had been... A frog, it would have had some seriously impressive consequences. <sighs> What's this? <laughs> Lorelei Gilmore said this in Gilmore Girls. This for me, this is like the fairy tale with a frog that becomes a prince. So this is a fairy tale love story. I think this person, look at all the colors matching. This person is your fairy tale. That's what I think. This person is your fairy tale. And they know it. They know that you guys belong together. And they want to come forward. But as I said, they need to heal some other issue in their life. Okay? So let's see what kind of zodiac they could be. Universe, what zodiac sign is this person? Virgo. See? Or is this Scorpio? Wait, this is Scorpio. I have to dis ha, I have to distinguish them. And what else? And we have Gemini, okay? So these are the possible signs. And now let's do some charms for this person universe. Give me some charms for the soulmate. Oh, wow, there were a lot. So let's see if you can see this. Yeah, see, that's a journey. You guys are on a soulmate journey. They try to, they try to move forward. It says have... Oh, there's a kiss. Maybe you guys kiss. There is a connection with a kiss here. If you have met this person before, you might have kissed this person. Or you want to reach out to kiss this person, but and have and have. What is this have and have all about? We have an an R, an E, a Y, a W, an O, and an N as letters. Oh my gosh, there's the frog, guys. This is no coincidence. What the heck? There is the frog. We also have a P. And a mask. This person is wearing a mask. They cannot show you how much they love you right now. So you don't know that probably. You don't know that they want to start with you. And that they want to come forward. And that they want to um, kiss you. You know and become your prince. Because it says with a frog. It's your fairy tale prince, I bet. The one, the koala spirit. So cute. Wow. So wait for it, okay? That's all I have, guys. Bye. So hi, guys. Next up is pile purple. Look at this. So beautiful color. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at this purple fits this color. We have the chameleon spirit. Act as if. Wow, your person is very adaptable. They 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 love change. It's like this looks like a Scorpio personality for me. You know, a Scorpio loves change. They can change quickly. It's like whenever um they need to adapt, they can adapt. They're very extroverted personality. That's why they get along with all kinds of people, and they get like. They can adapt to each situation as it is. You know, this person has no problems um, getting along 
with all different kinds of swords of people because they adapt like very easy i also see they're very romantic i see flowers here and they love colors they love to dress very colorful that's why they can adapt to every situation in their life they probably won't have a hard time when something is changing in life they will adapt very easy and so people also don't know their real true self you know it's like because they that's like a magician energy i feel i strongly feel here you know they can they do they work their magic on people and they can like every situation that comes in life they can adapt so they get through life very easy what's their most important characteristic universe what it's saying oh wow yeah <laughs> what the heck they're very passionate and looks like look at this they could be a capricorn and um, this person is like women and men like both sexes wanna like have them it's like everyone wants to get drawn to this person i feel like also like a moth spirit like their most <laughs> that's interesting their most characteristic their most important characteristic is how you can recognize this person is they have such a sexual energy it's like people are drawn to them no matter if guy or girl it's like they want to have sex with them all the time man what is this <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow what a soulmate they're very passionate they're very loving they love to have sex all the time they're very sexual person i see here because the, that's what the devil explains very they make dependent they make other dependent on them wow act as if they could be an actor they're very good at acting that's why they you know that's why all the people want them. It's because sometimes even if they don't like people, they act as if, you know. So they get through all situations. Like the magician personality. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let me see. What's the message of the soulmate? Okay, you and your loved ones are safe. <laughs> that's good to know right <laughs> you don't make you don't make my army dependent on you could be a cancer this personality very strong water energy so i feel they're very loving i don't see the devil as a bad energy here no give me one more card from this person oh wow yeah very blue energy very loving energy no i think they just make others dependent because so they're so colorful and beautiful and others just want to have sex with them because they're like the the it you know they are like wow this person is like the hit <laughs> give me one message from the soulmate wow what a soulmate We read this later. Universe, what is this? You and your loved ones are safe. What is the message of the soulmate? No, oh, wow, we have the temperance. We have the Knight of Swords. That's going to war. And we have the, oh, the King of Pentacles. That's an Earth sign. That could really be a Capricorn because we have the King of Pentacles here. This personality, look, that's his personality. This person is also very wise. Look at this person. And they're shiny. Look, they have a lot of money. They have a lot of influence. That's why people get drawn to them like because they shine look at how this person's shining i mean that's the, my cards but <laughs> yeah they're probably an earth sign and they're very independent and they rule over a city like they they've seen like you see that here they sit on they could be an actor or someone 
famous because they sit on this pedestal. And that's why many people want them because they, they are, I think they are watched by many people. Could be an Aries too, but I feel some leader personality. We have all the decks almost have leaders. This is a leader personality and everyone wants to be with them. And they really fight for what they believe in. That's what I see here. So this person is saying, um, well, you know, this is him. This is also fighting for, for his truth, fighting for his people, fighting for his country, fighting for... Yeah, he's on the front line. He's fighting. And the angel is is doing the work in the background. This temperance is also about waiting. Waiting till your cups are filled, you know, watching the angels. The angel is working in the background. For me, this looks like very much like a soul connection where um, the angels are helping you guys in the background because it is a soulmate. Of course, it is a soul connection, you know. Um, let me get the, the, yeah, no, I think you see the, no, I think you see the cards better, right? You and your loved ones are safe. So you could be a Cancer or they could be a Cancer, but I feel they are Capricorn. And you are Cancer energy because it says you and your loved ones are safe, you know. And um, safe because he fights for you. He will always fight for you. He's always there for you. He, he um, The soulmate is saying, I'm always protecting you as I protect my people and my country. You are also protected and we are protected by the angels. That's what I see here. That's what your soulmate is saying. Don't worry. We are protected by angels. You and your loved ones are protected by angels. Maybe it's also because in the crisis right now that your soulmate is saying, don't worry. We are all protected. That's also the purple is protected protection from the universe. You know, the purple glitter is um, being connected to the universe. So this person is saying, don't worry, I will fight for you. If something happens to you, I come and fight for you because we are protected by the angels. So what else is he saying? Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Yeah, it's I also see that here. This is like here, this card. It says like, wait, wait for me, you know, I'm coming. Wait for me. I'm coming. I cannot rush into it because I have to defend also my people I have to defend myself my family this is what I see here someone who tells you to wait this is also the card of patience waiting you know allow it because I think you want the soulmate to be in your life like everyone wants this you know I mean I've seen it <laughs> we see that here <laughs> don't have to say anything to the dead and this person is um, saying wait I'm coming I'm rushing in but right now I I have to take care of other matters. I have to take care of my business. Look at this. And his business, I think this person is protecting something else, some country or some, could be a soldier, but this person has to fight for something right now. They have to work on their own stuff. So what is this, else is this person saying? And this is the wonder that's keeping the stars apart. Oh, wow. I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart. Oh my gosh. And this is the wonder that's keeping the stars apart. Wow, this is crazy shit. E.E. E. Cummings, I carry your heart with me. I carried it in my heart. Oh, and it's so beautiful. This person is with you all the time. I love that. That's so cute. Let's look at the zodiac signs. Well, I say Capricorn, Cancer. Let's see what the dice is saying. Universe, what... What zodiac signs can this person have? Other than what I'm seeing. Well, Scorpio, we have a lot today. Scorpio. They say Scorpio? Why is... What's wrong with that? And Aquarius. Hmm. Maybe that's your signs. Because I feel this person's strong earth energy and water. Earth and water. 
Temperance is Sagittarius. Well, it could be because this person is very fiery. Okay, let's get the charms for this person. Universe, give me some charms for this person. For the soulmate here. So what do we have? Oh my gosh, we have this for children. Very innocent energy. Also with the children card, with this children, I see you might have children in the future together or um, you both work for children. That means um, you both have um, professions that involve caring for children or younger souls. We have a B here. Number one and a B. Wow, there's a lot of Bs. What else in letters? An X and a K. So it could be an X. It's just focusing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we have the infinity sign. So yes, your twin flames, your soulmates and the two hearts entangled in each other. Look at this. We have the clock. So have patience. We have the cowboy head. And we have the protection from the universe. And we have the uh, moth. Is it called moth? The, in winter. So they might love winter or you need to have a strong skin because they take a long time. And we have an F. So please apply it as it fits. You know, the cowboy head is very interesting too. So maybe there's something involved with the states. Being free, you know, being rebellious. I feel it here with the with the night. That's beautiful. We have the infinity sign here. That's so beautiful. Okay, guys. That's all what I'm having for you. So, bye, guys. Bye, guys. So, hi, guys. So, let's continue with the pink. Pink glitter. It's cute, isn't it? So what spirit is your soulmate? Oh wow, the frog spirit. We had a lot of frog spirit today also on the other piles. So you might check them out. Um, clear out the clutter it says. So um, the frog spirit I always see as part of transformation. So someone that has transformed a lot. That's someone who's very grounded. I see here earth nature, you know, someone who's grounded, someone who loves to be outside. Um, someone who has many different interests, I feel here, and someone who's very playful, because I feel uh, with you know, I also I always see the prince like this fairy tale story, you know, so someone you haven't expected. So I think this soulmate is someone you have not expected. Like when you meet them, you don't think this person is your soulmate, but actually they are, and you will be very surprised. Like ooh, okay, so. Maybe this frog turns into a prince, you know what I mean? Maybe you meet them and you are friends first and then you fall in love maybe. Or, yeah, I see someone who's also, because the frog, you know, is, I see water energy also here. So the frog could be a water sign, but I also see the frog as being, um, as I said, spiritual, um, very with working with their emotions. So... They're earthly, but um, they're also very emotional person, very playful, very romantic. That's what I see here. So see what's their most, um, like their most seen characteristic. Oh, wow. Is that, is, this is an earth sign, the Knight of Pentacles. You see this here? Someone who... Um, the Knight of Pentacles, okay, it's an earth sign, yeah, but this is like, look at this, it's like he has a gift, you know, this guy likes to give gifts. I see a very romantic person, like a prince. As I said, the prince coming on the horse, on the black horse, maybe this guy owns a black car, that's what I see here. And, um, yeah, it's like being very loving, um, being down to earth, and um, this person might have their own business. That's what I see and um, they reach for their goals, you know. It's like they have a goal in mind and they go for it, you know. So what's the message of this soulmate? What's the message of this soulmate?
and we have the yeah emotions are running high wow super moon they're very emotional right now what's this all about universe give me three cards <clears throat> very emotional this person give me more messages universe for the frog spirit frog spirit We look at this later. Give me a message from the frog spirit. Okay, this wanted to come out, so I'm taking it. <clears throat> so beautiful. I love how those colors always match, you know. So what is this all about? We have the chariot. Yeah, they're getting in the car. I told you, they will have a black car. They want to come to you, towards you. Yeah, they feel called. Look at this. That's a judgment card. <laughs> Why is this angel having like hearts in their... In their um... Oh, wow. Three major arcana. And a justice. This is big. This is like I come forward... Um, you know, my emotions are running high because I really want to be with you. I feel called to be with you. This person feels like called to come towards you, you know, to bring you a gift. That's what I, it says. And also clear out the clutter. Get ready. I'm coming. This is what the energy I'm feeling. I'm coming and this is, he's coming fast. He's getting into his car, see? Get ready, I'm coming. Maybe this person also calls you, so you will get a call in the next um, weeks, days, maybe in 10 days, because I think this person is really coming towards you. They cleared out the clutter. Maybe they, um, they've they done some healing, because the frog is also all about healing. And justice is served, you know? The justice, they come forward, because it's just... The justice, you guys belong together. This even could mean you guys marry. <laughs> but this is his message. So his, his message is, um, you know, my emotions are really high for you. I want to come forward. I want to make you this gift, this offer. <clears throat> and it's saying, trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. See? Told you the, the first word I said about the frog spirit is about um, transformation. I think this guy is transforming. That's what I feel. They're coming forward. I see also here the Knight of Pentacles. It took them a while, but they will come. Also here the pink. Like pink clouds. I see they're very, very emotional right now. They want to be with you. So what does it say? <clears throat> When you get aroused playing Scrabble, that's love, baby. Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> so they get aroused by the smallest things because their emotions are running high. Look at this. This sits like perfectly. So they don't take long. They will come forward. Just trust the transformation army, okay? Just trust the process. They're coming. This is a kind of movement. This is a kind of movement, but a slow movement. Um, they are called. It's like the universe is calling them to get out of their graves <laughs> so it's saying i'm coming back i'm coming back towards you and i bring justice into this situation this is what your soulmate is saying this is so beautiful let's see i see an earth sign here cancer what star what zodiac sign could this person be we have leo gemini and our Virgo, no, our Scorpio. Today was Scorpio. Like, they, they really want to say Scor Scorpio is coming. <laughs> so let me get um, some charms. Give me some charms for the soulmate. Okay, wow. So we have a purple K and an M. <clears throat> KM, what else? We have an X, so this could be about an X. What else? What is this? Let me see. 
and an L, okay? Those are the letters. Okay, then we have the anchor, yeah. The anchor is all about um, a sta stable, stable love. That's like the justice card, um, marrying, you know. We have the glasses, so your person could wear glasses. We have the elephant, so maybe this means something to you too. And we have the key. Oh, wow, that's so cool. So they're coming, you know, they're saying trust the process. I'm coming, you know, I'm on my way. The elephant is also about moving. You guys see that? Yeah. Okay, those are your charms for your soulmate. So let's move on to the last pile. Bye, guys. So hi, everyone. So let's finish this reading with our last pile, pile blue, light blue. So cute. I really love this glitter. So who's your soulmate? Oh, wow. The dog spirit. A very loyal friend. Be loyal to what you love. A dog I always see as a companion. So this person, your soulmate, is very reliable. They're very loyal. They probably have a lot of friends too. Because dogs also come in a group, but they can be alone too. So this means this person... Um, <clears throat> This person you can find in a group, but they're also very comfortable to be alone with you, you know, to um, to do things on their own. Um, I see very loyal. Like if you have a problem, you can just call this person and they are there for you like a dog, you know, and they love to be together with you. You know, that's what I see, too. What I also see is um, it, you guys could start out as friends. What is their most... Like the characteristic, characteristic most significant. <clears throat> oh, wow. Wow. This is the Queen of Swords, but it's different, the Queen of Swords. So they're in feminine energy. They're very loving. And, you know, she doesn't have a sword. So this person speaks the truth. You know, the Queen of Swords is someone who speaks the truth. But at the same time, usually the Queen of Swords holds the sword up in the air, ready to cut everyone who comes near her, who um, who crosses boundaries. This person has their sword down. That means they speak the truth, but they're also very loving, you know, very giving, very... Um, <coughs> they're very looked up to. It's like they get ground by the universe. So they're very spiritual. And... Yeah, like they are very truthful, truthful, and they walk hand in hand with their morals and with what they believe in. This is like a spiritual person that walks the talk, you know, they walk the talk. So let's see what this person is telling you, what the message is of your soulmate. What is the message of the soulmate universe? They could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <clears throat> it says hold your vision yeah they're visionary they might start start also something new um like they they might have a business that that is very unique you know they're very unique personality what are they saying universe what are they saying what is dog spearing saying okay i get it what else are they saying? <clears throat> we look at this later. What is this whole division all about? Okay, let's see if I get this card. Oh, wow. We have again a vision. Like the moon is very significant. Look at this. And the thought process, that's what I saw. I thought. The blue is the throat. Oh, that's about speaking up. The throat chakra and also um, the mind. Hold your vision. Yeah. They say like, oh my gosh, hold your vision of us being together. Look at this. This card came up in the Leo twin family reading. So for everyone who's here because of that, this is your person maybe, you know. <clears throat> Wow, be loyal to what you love. Hold your vision. Wait for me, they say. Yeah, I'm coming. Forward. They send you they want to send you a message, a very passionate message. 
Oh, wow, that's a couple. Look at this. We have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So this could be even your energy, that they're very loyal to you. That's your twin flame. For sure, guys, this is a couple. And this is a very seldom to th get them out. And like, if you draw like this, look at how many cards we have here. Like 300 cards and to get a couple, it's like very seldom with four cards. So this is twin flame. I also see that here, the 10 of pentacles one of the best cards in the deck that means getting married in the future having a family together um, being emotional fulfilled being financially fulfilled having everything and they want to come forward they make want to make you an offer and they're saying hold that vision of us together be loyal to what you love oh surrender at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives let go and all will work out yeah just surrender to that you don't think this is possible they're saying just surrender, hold your wish. And yeah, sometimes you're like sad that um, this person's not in your life yet. But they're saying, I'm coming, you know, don't worry. Hold your wish and please um, surrender to the outcome. <clears throat> yeah. It's like this is your stone of belief system and this person is kneeling before that. So they believe in that too. They say, believe in that vision of us together. I'm coming. I'm here. I'm your partner. I'm your life partner. You know? That's so beautiful. Let's see what's it's saying. In vain, I have strain Austin, Pride and Prejudice. Oh, wow. A quote from Pride and Prejudice. In vain, I have struggled. It will not do. My feelings will not be repressed. You must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you. Oh, my gosh. That's their message. They struggle to be without you. They want to come forward. My feelings will not be repressed. That's like speaking up. They will send you a message. They will speak up. They're saying surrender to the outcome. I will come forward because I'm your husband. Look at this. This is a couple, a divine couple. Hold your vision. Don't let it be, you know, surrender to the outcome. That's so beautiful because we're loyal to each other. We're twin flames. We walk, even now, we walk side by side in spirit. That's why the dog spirit is here. Maybe you guys are also connected through dogs. We had, oh, that's why this card came up in the Twin Flame Leo reading, you know, with the dogs. So maybe you guys own a dog and this person owns a dog, you know. That's so beautiful. What zodiac signs can this person have? <clears throat> yeah, we have Scorpio again. What's this? Leo? Um, Aquarius. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Oh, I said Leo. Let's get some charms. Okay, <clears throat> what do we have here? So we have an L for love. Yeah, they, they want to come forward. I also has have the steering wheel. That's sailing, smooth sailing. Then the, we have the orbit, the planet. So they circle around you. That's like the dark spirit, you know. The planet circling around you. That's the dragon being strong. Hold your vision. There's one dragon. What's this? What's this? Is this another dragon? Yes. Look at this, guys. I have two dragons. That's that's twin flame. And we have the butterfly here for transformation for changes coming. And a big L. So maybe the initials of your person is L. Or it just means big love, you know. That's so beautiful. So this person will come towards you, you know. That's what your soulmate is saying. Okay, guys, so that's all for this reading. I hope you had fun, guys. Okay, bye, guys.